Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate chewy, fudgy and chocolatey brownie. So let's get started with the ingredients list and the tools and bowls needed for this recipe. Here you will be needing one big bowl to mix in all the ingredients. And here I have a heat proof Pyrex bowl to heat the butter and the chocolate together. Three large eggs at room temperature. And here I have two types of sugar the brown sugar for the chewiness of the brownie and the white sugar for the shine on the top. So here's some cocoa powder, a dark rich cocoa powder and compound chocolate. And if you notice, I have very less amount of flour. This is all purpose flour. And here I have some butter. Some cashew nuts for the garnishing. I love nuts on the brownie. It tastes absolutely lovely. And here I've got some salt. And some vanilla essence to enhance the flavor of the chocolate. Now let's start mixing all the ingredients. I've got my heat proof bowl and I'm going to put the compound chocolate in it and the butter in it. And we are going to microwave it for one minute until the butter melts. So now if you see the butter has completely melted. Use a spoon or a spatula to mix the two ingredients together. The warm butter is going to help to melt the compound chocolate. Now if you see the chocolate has completely melted. You keep it aside to cool. Let's move on to the next step. First, let's start mixing the eggs and the sugar together. So here I'm adding the sugar into the bowl and I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. And if you notice, I like to keep it simple. I'm just using a hand whisk to mix the eggs into the sugar. Try to whisk the eggs and the sugar until the mixture turns light in color. If you notice, I'm using all my mighty strength in whisking this mixture. Feel free to use the electric hand blender for this process. Now you can add the vanilla essence. So I'm finally done whisking. If you see, the mixture is light in color and more lighter in texture as well. Now it's time to add the melted chocolate to the egg mixture. Using a wire whisk, you can mix the two mixtures together. So if you see, the sugar has not completely dissolved in the mixture, which is totally fine. Now let's sift in the dry ingredients, the flour and the cocoa powder. And of course, let's not miss out on the salt. The salt enhances the flavor of any baked goods. Try not to skip this step because this is going to incorporate more air to the brownie and make it a little lighter in texture. Using the wire whisk, we are going to mix the flour and the chocolate together. Ooh, just look at this mixture. It's so thick in texture and so chocolatey. So now let's prepare this gooey goodness for baking. Let's transfer this cake batter into an 8 by 8 inch prepared pan. So here's my pan all set with the parchment paper for baking. I wish I didn't have to bake this cake. I can just eat it as it is. It is that good. 
Let's bake the brownie on a preheated oven on 180 for 20 to 25 minutes. Insert a toothpick into the cake in the center of the cake and you should get a little bit of gooeyness attached to the toothpick. And that's when your cake is done. Leave it to cool for half an hour and then unmold it. Just have a look at this goodness. Oh my God, so chocolatey and smells so good. So let's slice into the cake. Is brownie actually a cake or a cookie? I have no idea, but it's somewhere in between for sure. Just come closer and have a look at this. It is so crusty on the top and so fudgy inside. This is absolutely a winner recipe. You can enjoy your brownie just as it is or top it off with some vanilla ice cream and roasted cashew nuts. It will taste heaven. Trust me on this. So hope you guys enjoyed my video tutorial till we meet again with yet another interesting recipe.